Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and our next big project is actually to clean and paint this huge fountain. Uh, this is the fountain that we got for free on the side of the road probably about a month or so ago so it's really taken a while for us to get around to it but ever since we've been finishing up the driveway project and that is to build the retaining wall. It's not really a retaining wall it's only a couple blocks high but ever since we've been getting that squared away this has been on my mind to get it painted and put out front because I think it'll really just make the whole front of the house pop. It's a pretty large fountain and it does need to be completely or almost completely stripped. So I've been taking the hose to it and it does flake off pretty easily in some spots and certain spots not so easily. Wow, that was loud. So the bottom here is pretty intensely uh, eroded so that has came off pretty easily but i need to get as much of this paint off as i can and so it's in three pieces this is upside down obviously this is the base that's the mid section right here with the lions on it and then this sunflower looking topper piece goes on the top and i'm going to paint this with black all on all the pieces and then once the black dries i'm thinking like a hammered copper color i think that would really work well with our brick this is the back of the house, but it's brick all the way around and it's this color. And so I'm trying to find a color that would match it and not um, be too boisterous and loud against the low key vibe of a mid-century style ranch house. So I think a copper color would do that. And it would also, you know, it'd be like a little bit of bling, that's all. Um, so that's our next project. And since I'm talking about the driveway I'll just go ahead and walk over there and I've got a chair menagerie is that the word I don't know uh, thing going on right there okay so finally got my brickwork repaired back to the way it looked pretty much um, so that's good and then we have these blocks put in here these are more natural looking blocks and then we have the more formal looking blocks there and on this side like that, so the fountain will go right there on that corner. And then I'll just extend these bricks. Um, I'll, I'll extend the bricks, bricks to make like a little S curve and it'll shoot out right here. I'll fill that with some mulch and that way on either side of the driveway, it will pretty much match so that we have it kind of going off here and then it'll kind of do the same thing over here. So that is the project out front. All right, I just got back from a church rummage sale and I did pretty good. So um, I grabbed about a box worth of stuff and one item I got are these cats right here. They were 25 cents for the pair of them. One issue is that he's missing an eyeball. So I'll have to see if I can find online, which might be very difficult, a little green um, thingy to put on his eye. If not, I don't know, I could put a little eye patch over it or something. But yeah, it's a pair of them for a quarter, so I had to grab it. So even if this is all I can deal with, fine. It's a good deal for that. But this one's cool too, probably from the 60s. Um, this is a separate subject, but we'll just keep on with the haul. That's another separate subject. Um, also, I grabbed this here. It's made by Rembrandt, Reed's Line. Um, so it looks to me to be from the 70s or late 60s, I guess. It's a Halloween paper um, placemat, no, a uh, tablecloth thing. So had to grab that for 10 cents. And then I grabbed, these were all 50 cents, these tablecloths. So there's this one here. Really pretty flowers. These are things that'll probably go in my booth. I have not really tried selling tablecloths online, but if they are in great, great shape without any issues, I will put them online. Uh, this one is made to look like an early American type thing. Let's see, really pretty pink on there. <laughs> yeah, it's. I think these are all meant for card tables. They're, they're mostly square. Uh, and then this one here, it's a bigger one, I think. I think I have one like this, or I sold one like this. Or, I mean, it's in my booth. I think that's also a card table type deal. 
but really vibrant colors. And then <clears throat> I bought this, I guess they call them stadium blankets. I'm just kind of learning about this sort of thing. And I think it's wool. I don't know my fabric fabrics very well. I can't really tell the difference between acrylic and wool. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe there is no difference. No, there is a difference, but um, so it's really cool. Has that retro look to it. And again, stuff like this, I can't tell you if it's that old. It smells old, but I don't know if it's actually from the uh, 70s or 50s. I don't know. <laughs> um, and then one more tablecloth for 50 cents. Right there. Um, oh, and then I grabbed this little plant stand rolling thing. Kind of has that Hollywood Regency 1970s look going on. And... Um, this will probably go online. It's not in the best shape. It has some issues there. Uh, I think I could still sell it for maybe $15. I've sold one like this before, and I think I sold it for like 30, but it was a little bit more hefty. Um, so I still think I can do well with this. Um, bought this little Swan music box for a quarter. You wind her up and she spins around and plays music, you know, spins. Um, was that all I got? I think so. Yeah, and then, so on my way home, I, what a mess. <laughs> on my way home, I went to the hardware store because I have this pinball machine, it's old. And I think on the back, here we are. It says something, St. Louis, Missouri, something else. So that's really neat. And I've had this for a while. The only issue is, is that I didn't have a knob for it. So I was able to find a little knob. So I took it all apart, cleaned it, got all the dust out of it, and it now works. I'm not very good. So yeah, I, I got that. And then I also bought some of these pretty flowers because they were only $2 at the hardware store. They have um, like little droplets of glue or whatever to make them look like rain so I thought that they would look really cute right here in my picture see yeah sure that looks pretty and so I got these because they have little bits of pink and then they match the wall over there y'all yeah. hi Stella are you taking a nappy poo yeah you are say hello 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 to you. So I just got done replacing the little gemstones in their eyes. This one has pink and this one blue. I think they look really, really cool together like that. Um, I still have the original ones, which were a little smaller. They were green. Um, I wish that these, here, here's they are, here they are in comparison. I wish that the ones I bought were smaller but they kind of look cool that way nice and big so I did a pink one and a blue one and I'll obviously disclose that in the listing that I replaced the gemstones um, but I think that people are going to love them like this and I think while I'm at it I might as well touch up the ears right here with the little um, black watercolors that was a tip from a subscriber and I think um, that'll make them look even nicer too and I'll write that I fixed that also Morning, and I got the first coat of black paint on the fountain. There's the two pieces assembled, and then this last piece right here sets right on top. So it's a pretty large fountain in size. And all I have to do is let this dry a little bit longer. Maybe later today I'll get antsy enough to want to paint it with the gold paint that I chose. And I'll, of course, show you that right when I get it done. But I think it's going to look spectacular when it's finished. All right, so I am just doing a little listing right now, and that entails actually also posting the items that I list on a team that I'm a part of, and that does a couple things. It motivates me to list five items at a, t at a time, and then it also gives me automatic hearts on my item, and a heart is whenever someone favorites your item. So really what that means is you post your items in this group and so does everybody. And then that means you also have to go through and heart everybody else's items. 
So we all are on that scratch each other's back mentality. So if I was to go to one of my items like this, oops, I just listed this so it's not going to have any hearts, but I don't know if I can heart my own thing or not. Mm, I don't think so. But if I did, it would show up right here. Here, I'm gonna go to one that's been on for a while. Um, these little cups here. They show that they've been favorited by 11 people. So by itself, that doesn't mean a whole lot, but if you happen to be a customer and you are looking for these mugs and seeing that there were 11 other people that were interested or thought they were neat enough to favorite them, then that might be an incentive to want to buy them quickly or not dilly-dally too much, you know. So that's more of a mental thing in my opinion. Um, like I said though, the other reason, what's going on with quantity here? Okay, yeah, I have eight of them. Um, the other reason is that, like I said, it just helps, just helps give an incentive, I guess, to list at least five things at a time. Um, and that's great because it's really easy to just, you know, do the bare minimum. But if you list five things in a row, that means you can get things done a lot quicker. So it takes me about 30 minutes to list five things. And by the time I go to list them, I already have the drafts made. Um, and the drafts are saved in my Etsy account just as with, and all they have in them as a draft is the photos only and there's no other information. So um, by the time I sit down to do listing, I'm working with a pretty much a blank slate. I have a listing that has photos and then I just have to go through, write the title, description, price, tags, and then publish it. And that doesn't take too long, but it's just a matter of actually setting down and starting. That's the hardest part, I think, like anything. So um, my account does this weird thing. These are icons that should be attached to some of these posts, and they're not. Like, see, my icon isn't there. It should be about there, and it's not there. And these other people's should be attached to their to their, um, it should be like that. This is her icon and that's her icon. But the, for some reason, they just wanna stick to the screen. So, yeah. Right, so I got the coat on there. This is the color that it's gonna be. It's actually not at all that I, what I was thinking it was going to be. Um, it's supposed to be copper. And Yes, this is copper, but it's not shiny copper like I thought it was going to be really blingy and shiny. Um, so that's unfortunate, but it's cool nonetheless. Um, we'll probably stick it out front tomorrow, Monday, and fill it with dirt. And then I have some fake ivy that I want to have coming out of it. And um, yeah, because we're not going to use it as an actual fountain a running fountain that would just be very hard to do and everything so we're gonna do it as a planter more so and I think it turned out pretty good considering all right today is Saturday and this morning we went to the flea market it was a really big flea market and it took about two or three hours to get through it and that was even walking pretty quickly. So I got a few things to sell and then one thing to keep, but I thought it went pretty smoothly. So grab this Big Mouth Billy Bass. It was only $5 and I sell these on eBay for about 30. So that is a really good pickup. And I just have to test that it works. It should, it's made 19.99. I opened the back panel and all the little metal parts look to be in good shape without any um, white crusty stuff going on with them. So I'm gonna put batteries in it and test it out to make sure that it works uh, Usually with these the thing that goes wrong most of the time is this um, Motor on this head it tends to not want to uh, really go strongly um, So I'll have to see what that does and sometimes the sensor doesn't work, but all in all great pickup uh, next thing I got is this lady sunbeam electric shaver never used that's what the person said 
So I paid $4 for it. This, these do not go for very much. That's surprising because it's really retro. Um, all the documents are with it and even the original box. So I'm gonna try for around, um, blah, blah. I don't know, maybe $25 with shipping included. It should go first class. So yeah, 25 bucks should do it. Um, this here I got for myself. It was kind of an impulse buy. I paid $8 for it. I think that's a pretty good price. It's some old um, cutouts. I still don't know the full story on these. Um, the guy said that they were from the, did he say back to the 1800s maybe? That seems really old, but these are really delicate and old. And I don't know if this is like a paper toy or what. Uh, this piece here is one one piece, and it looks like it kind of goes together to make a cage or something. I don't know. I have to do some research on this, but it's really cool. You know, I collect the circus items. I will frame this, and that way it'll be protected from falling apart anymore. I also grabbed this little thing here. I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, it's kind of that rockabilly thing. I've never got into the whole rockabilly uh, kish movement, but... I thought for a dollar, yes, only a dollar, I would give it a shot. So it's um, that chalk stuff, not even chalk, it's um, those molds that you paint yourself kind of a thing. So very neat. I think I could probably get around $20. I haven't looked it up, but I'm thinking probably 20 bucks on that. I found another one of these awesome things. Biscayne is the pattern and it's another batter bowl. So I paid $4, not five. I was wheeling and dealing, uh-huh. Um, I just noticed one issue, darn it, and I was even running my, from the top you can't feel it, but it's right there on the side, very small, very, very small. There's a tiny little missing bit. Um, so this will go online after I get a photo taken. Most all of these I see online and everything, the blue is um, kind of worn away. So that's not a huge deal. The graphics, though, are pretty nice. Um, grab some zucchini bread. Had to do that. It was only $3. I thought um, it was originally a little bit bigger. <laughs> we already got into it. Um, for $3, that's a really great price. She could have asked $4, I betcha, because it's a nice big size. All right, the last thing that I got is actually this really cool mirror. It is double-sided and it kind of rotates like this. I only paid $10 for it. It was originally 12, so I got it for 10. And it is just a really cool Hollywood Regency style oval mirror that I think will do pretty well online. I think I'm gonna ask about 50 or so dollars for it and that includes shipping. So yeah, definitely a really good buy and I'm happy with that. So I hope you liked everything. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.